another thing you can do with your jelly pad uh, plate is make it into a rubber stamp. So if you're going to create a large background, say for a scrapbooking page, this technique might be kind of fun to use. So what I have here is a smaller jelly plate. As I told you, they come in different sizes. This is a three by five. And that's the smallest one they come in right now. So I'm laying it just on a large stamping block, an acrylic block uh, as my support. And because this is silicone and the other is acrylic, it sticks just like a cling stamp. So I have it there and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply my paint. I'm going to use two colors, a little dab of the violet and a little dab of the primary blue. Actually, that's aqua, aqua ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to take my sprayer and smooth the colors out. I'm kind of bouncing them here. Again, you just want a thin layer. And I'm just going to take a rubber stamp or it could be a shape or it could be a catalyst tool or it could be a stencil whatever you want for this demo I'm just going to use a simple background rubber stamp little circles within circles and I'm just going to randomly stamp on this that looks good I'll just stamp this off and do a little wipe so the paint doesn't dry on it Okay, and then I'm going to use the same one that I used in another video, Texture Tool, and just stamp all over that. And again, give this a wipe with a baby wipe. Remember on your rubber stamps to use baby wipes that do not have any alcohol in them, otherwise it will eventually destroy your rubber stamp with the alcohol and make the rubber dry out and crack. Okay, now I'm just going to use a small piece of paper for this demo, but think of this as a 12 by 12 or a bigger sheet of paper. And just lay it down, turn this over, and stamp. Hold it there for a few seconds, pull it up, you've got an image. Now, I could try a ghost. Didn't get much from that. So what I would do is I'll do this process again. Uh, maybe I'll use something different, a different color. Let's use a, a yellow. I'm not cleaning off the plate. my stamps again doesn't really matter since these are background stamps if I've done the same pattern or not and flip her over and let's go this way There, got a little muddy in the one corner, but that sometimes happens with your colors. And let's do one more. Let's do a combination color. Let's do a little of the violet. And let's do a little of the yellow together. Let's see what we get out of that. Possibly more mud. But that's the beauty of these jelly plates. You're always experimenting. same thing again. Clean it off. I'm probably shaking the camera. Oops, smeared that a little bit. 
sometimes you got to be careful that you don't smear unless you want that look it can be kind of fun too there aren't any mistakes when you do this it's just whatever happens okay and now let's add this to the other spot I'm just gonna add a little bit of ghost because I still have a little paint left. There we go. That's kind of fun background. I could let this dry and do some other layers onto it, or I could cut this up. Um, I could do a whole 12 by 12 sheet with this, so I could customize my colors for whatever I'm going to be putting on my page. Um, so it's just another way you can use the jelly plate.